Hi there. I'm Derek. He's Gary. We smoke pot. You smoke with us. We talk shit about papers or we praise papers. Depends on how good they smoke. That's the right. bottom line. It's up to the company. Um, so, But it uh, is our opinion. Today, we are <laughs> doing, if you got them, go get them. Because you can. Elements, one and one quarter cones. <coughs> we can get them anywhere pretty much yes we picked these up down at tricks and they're available in thunder bay ontario at tricks on may street and bedlam on algoma yep go get you some mm -hmm. maybe we'll tell you when we're done that's that's a well but even if not you can get whatever at tricks that's a well pack like that bitch sounds good Light up, folks. Light with us. Should be prepared, because you know how we roll. Literally. So, as previously mentioned, today on episode 107 of the Rolling Paper Review, we are doing elements, elements. one and one quarter pre-rolled combs. And, of course, Gary likes these, because they're filtered. I like filters. And you won't have to actually light knock off the light ash on that because of the way I packed it. Oh, that's a tasty morsel. We are smoking Blue Widow. In the elements cone. Yeah. Now these are rice paper too, right? Yes, they are. Ultra thin rice paper. Let's see if I can get an aroma, but I'll wait till I get it back and do a good aroma test. It kind of smells a bit like movie theater popcorn. Yeah, see, I don't get that. Okay, elements, ultra thin rice cone, one and one quarter size cone, pre-rolled cones, the element of smoking six pack, uh, and this was $3.25 for a pack of six cones, uh, the website is listed back here, uh, www.elementspapers.com. Uh, it is a member of the Rolling Supreme family. It made in Alcoy, Spain. Ole. Ole, ole. Underage sale prohibited. <coughs> <coughs> so it really doesn't really give that much information, but it does give us a website. Yeah, there's a little bit of info. Like I said, not too much, but a little bit. I always laugh now every time when I look at a barcode. Why? Well, because there's there's three numbers found in every barcode everywhere on Earth, and they never change. They are 666. They're at the beginning, the middle, and the end of every barcode. <clears throat> and you want to know how you know they're 666? Look here, there's a six, and that's represented by these two sticks that are the same length. Here's another six, there's the same two sticks. There's the same two sticks, there's the same two sticks, and there's the same two sticks. On every barcode on Earth. 666. Go ahead, look it up. It's on YouTube. After you watch this, go ahead and look it up. Hmm. Look at the ash on this puppy. Like, she's going real good. I think we're pretty much good to do our density test here. All right. I'm actually doing like a scent as well. And okay. There's here. just a cardboard. Density. Yeah, I, 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 saw, I noticed that. Okay. So here's our density test. We've got a nice big ash built up. I'm going to do a light shake. Solid. Medium shake. 
Solid. Heavy shake. No. Oh. There she goes. Yeah. But did you hear that? It literally went. Doom. It literally. It <laughs> sounded like I took a bud and dropped it. it went. Doom. So hang on, I'll scoop it up. It's a it's a solid dash. It's solid. It's one piece. It's pretty fucking good. That's a ten. That's that's solid. Okay, I, I, you know what, and I'm going to give scent a 10 as well because there was no, uh, not aroma, but scent. Yeah, scent, yeah, that's All right. It just smells cardboard. like the cardboard, so that's a 10 because they're unscented. And roll, well, you didn't have to roll it. The, so. No, the pack, though, because yeah. with a lot of cones, the problem that I notice on the pack is that Loose. this parse folds, Yeah. and then you're unable to get a tight pack there. Yeah. <coughs> so as far as the pack goes on this, I actually give it a 9 out of 10. It did fold real easy because it doesn't have much structural strength because the paper is ultra thin. Yeah, it's really thin. So, I find that you have to support what you're packing with your fingers while you're packing it. So, as I start packing further up, I have to slide it up further in my fingers and keep packing it that way with my fingers there to brace the walls so they don't downfold. Plus, you can tell how good you've got it packed. I just learned this. Whereas I've been packing cone hole for many years. <laughs> uh, all right, so for appearance, I'm going to go with a seven out of ten. Seven, yeah. <laughs> The gum, <laughs> the gum still gets graded on pre-rolled cones because if the gum isn't good, the cone will still let go. Um, so, well, yeah, it'll let go anywhere along it, including right. down at the mouth. Exactly. Edge. So, I still rate the gum on pre-rolled cones. It's actually quite nice, though. Like there isn't even any bud in between there. Not no. That's solid. Yeah. Yeah, we'll give the gum a 10 out of 10. The burn. <coughs> you know, it, you get a minor <coughs> coke swirl with the fat side of a uh, cone. Um, but it is very easy to get runs. <coughs> and this one hasn't run at all. It's had minor coke swirling and that's it. So for a cone, for me, that's a 9 out of 10. Okay. Aroma. Uh, to me, it wasn't bad at all. It's not offensive. No. It's not, there's a little bit of a scent there because of the rice paper. I like but it. But it's not terrible. I like it's... it. For some reason, I keep getting like... Um, Aroma tones of movie theater pipe popcorn for some reason. I don't know why. I just I pick it up there. Maybe you're just craving some popcorn because no, I don't get I'm that not. at all. I'm not. Not not whatsoever. Yeah. I just have a very sensitive nose. Yeah, I don't know. I don't pick that up at all. But it's what I I'm do surprised smell is not because with a nose like that, really you shouldn't miss anything. Yeah, but the only way I'd smell it is if there was a movie theater down the street and the scent was coming through the window. there isn't I would just like to point out that's what I'm saying I don't get it's not offensive there is something there but it's not he's offensive yeah well, well <laughs> you guys know that well you should by now what's that Mr. Snodgrass this, this, this is the 107th fucking episode they should know that by now yes yes you really should and for those of you just joining us for the first time he's an asshole fucking right Mind you, I am too. Whatever. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. <laughs> We're both sick in the head, and uh, in other ways have many other ailments, mental illness. Being first and foremost, uh, for which uh, they give us proper medication, marijuana, which helps tremendously. 
all the time, every day, all day. What were we talking about? Yeah, exactly. You know, and oftentimes when I do find them forget things, I just, <coughs> just tell people, oh, you'll have to understand, I suffer from Potzheimer's. <coughs> yeah. I have fibro fog. I blame it on that. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And that's a country song, too. So there. That means. Like semen to a brothel. Yep. He's sticking to it. That's right. And by semen, I'm referring to Marines and Navy personnel. Not the gooey stuff. <laughs> or that. That's going to stick to him. Yeah, oh yeah. That's sticky, ooey gooey substance. Could you please next time shit yourself off camera? Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a green cloud that is now forming over my head. It is wafting over from this direction. Just wait till the lightning starts. No. Uh, <laughs> You know, somebody once said it smells, and I replied like shit. <coughs> yep. So, the burning aroma, I give it an eight. Yes. It's not offensive. It's not overpowering. But it's there. Right. Smoothness. The smoothness on this is quite nice. Yeah. When it's packed right. Because as you can tell, I'm it's a hacker. Same. What do you mean? I've been hacking the whole way through this thing. Have you? Yeah. I haven't. No, I have. It's because I'm a hacker. Well, you don't you want say, to man, be a hacker, too? You don't get off until you cough. That's right. You have to cough to get off. If that's the case, then your shorts got to be sopping wet by now. I could probably drain them, yeah. <laughs> Squishy. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny when I start coughing I remind myself of a vehicle struggling to start <coughs> and why is that just that <laughs> oh. so smoothness I'm gonna go with a seven, because I do have that bite back there. <coughs> I'll go with seven. <coughs> Quantity cost. You get <coughs> six of them for three and a quarter. So that works out to about three dollars and four cents. Or sorry, uh, 54 cents a piece, roughly. Roughly. So... That's not really that great. <clears throat> Quantity versus cost in that category is going to get a four. Okay. Yeah, the roach is out. So well, it's got a huge ass filter, so. <coughs> wow. Tell you that again, just to make sure. It's still passed. Well, that's a pass. Yeah, I, I wasn't shocked, but I had to tell you twice. Well, just you know what, sure. though? Look, a lot of these marks were still anything over seven is good. Oh yeah, right. yeah. So we got on seven, over seven, over seven, over seven, over seven, over seven, over seven, on seven, under, under. Yeah. We were still dead. <laughs> yeah, I was just, I had to uh, do it twice because I was a little surprised. Well, the bottom line for us is we give it the referral of approval. Go uh, get yourself. Elements one and one quarter pre-rolled cones, six pack. Um we find them to be more than sufficient. Yeah. 
So, and it is a cool thing to pull out in a party. Oh, for sure. So, you know, cones are, are, are a good old favorite. I, I like the fact that they start out real fat and cone down, and so that means the weed underneath collects up and saturates with a whole lot of the resins as it's being smoked. So it's some ooey gooey goodness. It and is. that nice big filter keeps that ooey gooey goodness on the bud and not on your lips. Yes. Keeps the Scooby Snacks to a minimum. Yeah, yes. And it burns for a while too. Reach it, brother. So it's good for, <laughs> you know, for three, four people because it'll last a while. Yeah, that's right. It's just we smoke It'll go enough around and around. Four, and around. three, four people. So right, we're we're a little heavy on the product. But yeah, for normal people, you know, you could three, four. Wait a minute! Out. Wait a minute! There are not people out there that are a setting on a washing machine. No, that's true. There is no normal. No, there isn't. We are supposed to live in a society that is proud to be unique. Oh, and that, but, that we are. But too many people are too busy trying to fit into their little boxes. Yeah, be like everybody else. No. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. I'm kind of getting a reputation uh, just as being a very knowledgeable person about rolling papers and marijuana. Um, and I take a lot of pride in that. I do you know heck I even did that news interview way back when all decked out with my pot glasses and my pot lay and you know so uh, I, I'm not afraid to stand out I'm not afraid to speak out for what I believe in and I believe that we should have the choice to go the big farmer <laughs> route or to not go the big farmer route it should be your own choice period Exactly. It's my body. It's my decision. Um, so I, I believe that there are people out there that need this product for medical reasons. However, because of uh, whatever reasons, don't feel that they need to go see a doctor to determine this. And I agree with those people. Yes. I agree wholeheartedly and 100%. I don't like doctors. This is not unknown knowledge. It's nothing personal against doctors it's just because of experiences I've had I have many trust issues with doctors so I should be able to choose for myself well I'm having pain do I go and I take something that is toxic to my body or do I take something that is a natural alternative that will serve the same function and I'm sorry but for me that's a no-brainer <laughs> yep um, I don't I don't even need to think to make up my mind on that um, I believe that a lot of the best answers are homeopathy and not pharmaceutical I believe that a lot of the answers that we need to, to cure what ails us is in the earth already we don't need to be taking all of these crazy medications from laboratories that you have to take uh, another medication to cover a side effect from this medication but or you now that medication has this side effect so you have to take that medication for that or there's ones out there where if you take it you have to take four other things to counteract the effects of that one you're taking and but there's effects from those four that you're taking to counteract the one right so it's just and, a never-ending cycle and at one point you have to ask yourself at what point do we stop the insanity that is the pharmaceutical industry it's a runaway freight train yeah well it's not even the just necessarily the pharmaceutical companies it's the fucking belief in the pharmacies they're handed out so much bullshit to these doctors that the doctors literally start believing that this shit actually works and that's why they hand it out plus you get kickbacks but anyways but that's why i call it the unhealth system because right. they're in the business of keeping you unhealthy not in That's the right. business. Of, they don't make any money if you're... <clears throat> now, I'm not going to say that marijuana is a magical cure-all. No. There are things that marijuana are, is not going to help you with. And marijuana is just not for everybody. That also... But it should be a choice. Um, however, I think that there are a lot more answers in uh, plants and herbs and... Uh, natural and things. natural berries and... 
I think there is more help in all of this than there is in somebody's chemical laboratory. And that also boils over into our food. If we can get back to all naturally grown food, all yeah, the nowadays shit that's they call it organic. Our grandparents called it food. Yeah. Get back to that. Yeah. Instead of this commercially done enhanced fucking garbage. Yeah. It's preserved uh, to hell. I mean, fuck. Right there, it would keep us healthier. Yeah. But it's so fucking expensive to eat that shit because they've made it that way. Yeah. I mean, it's fu it's bullshit. Get laid Anyways, and grow your own. you know what? We could go into a whole thing on this. Yeah, we don't need to. But no. Anyways, so there you go. You get our review. That's 74 out of 100 for elements. Okay. And you get a go little get bit of our some. political point of view. So there yeah, you go. A little tiny bit. Yeah. You don't want any more, but. All right, guys. Hey, guys. We'll smoke with you again later. We're out.